Of course I forgot to hit that. God damn it. Thanks for the heads up. I feel like an idiot. Expensive ass $200 mic. I forget to turn it on. Well, it means you guys didn't get to hear me bitch about the, uh, that player from the first two games. It's just going to be that day, apparently. So I'll have to edit this video and uh, cut it right in here to where uh, I actually remember to turn my damn mic on. Okay, ooh, send triplets. Haven't played against them online yet. Felden and Thassa. Um, I like the Cultivate. I like the Dread Bar. I've got all my colors, but who am I going to get a third land? Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyone wondering, my buddy had surgery a little while back. Let's keep it and see where it goes. So yeah, since I'm going to be re-editing this, uh, this is a requested deck tech I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, you guys are welcome to pull this up on Tapped Out. It's under my username, Sky Spider. So same place you can find pretty much all of my decks. So yeah, fingers crossed we find a third land by turn three. So yeah, I've never come across Sin Triplets on here. I'm kind of curious to see how they play. Oh, we got one. Yeah, I've been dying to build some triplets and just haven't gotten around to it. Combustible Gear Hulk and Dark Steel Forge, of course. What's up with the red artifact decks today? Okay, next turn I could cultivate. I'm happy. Actually, no, I do want to tap both of those because I would like to dread bore this thing. Because that thing basically grants essentially infinite turns. After each other player's turn, you get a turn. I should really foil my reliquary tower. It's one of those cards, it's in every commander deck, it should be foil. It's probably like stupidly expensive online, I imagine. So, since I said it earlier, but my mic was off, I'll say it now. Um, if my voice cracks while I'm streaming, I apologize. I might be coming down with a cold. I'm not sure yet. Here, let's send a, uh, and I'm sorry, package over there.
I could really use a forest and another forest. Yeah, two forests. One P. Yes, they accepted my spirit. I think it might be the spirit of the dude from the White House, but I don't know. Ooh, Envolvo Garden is always appreciated. My fun little friend from Visions here. Oh, am I being attacked? Okay. Well, no spirit for you. So I hope you guys like the new frame I came up with. Um, I was having a lot of trouble always having a tarantula down here to have on video, uh, keeping them in frame of the camera and uh, making sure they didn't wander off or uh, walk out of the frame or just be too little to see on screen. So I learned how to do an animated slideshow and just took pictures of all of my coolest looking pets and like even the non-spider ones, and just threw them all into a slideshow down there. I thought that'd be kind of neat. Hopefully you guys like it. By the way, this new mic picks up everything, so you might hear Rachel running the shower upstairs or the dryer going or it's kind of ridiculous how much it picks up ah uh, what do I want to put in the graveyard here oof tough call um I'm gonna go with the dryad come back for you later and I'm gonna drop out crash make some friends. Spreading the love. Can you feel the spirit in you? Oh, did Zoidberg just go through the little slideshow? He is wrapped up in a sweater and a blanket and laying in front of the fireplace right now. We have a roaring fire going. It is 17 degrees outside. We made uh, turkey tacos today, which were quite yummy. I am thoroughly stuffed with taco goodness. You don't see this vindicate very often. It's so funny that you're the one complaining about 50 and here I am in 17 degree weather and it's just like, oh yeah, fireplace, thermal hoodies, cat in a sweater.
So we got to deal with Sarkin over here. Can't let him get to seven. I think Crush is going to have something to say about Sarkin. The 17 by itself isn't that bad. It's the 30 to 40 mile per hour winds some days. The wind is definitely what makes it bad. Like, I don't mind the cold. I love the snow. I just, I don't want the wind. Oh, we've got two people that played a little earlier. so funny that players hold grudges in between games. Yay, someone's feeding Crash. You're gonna make a friend. Hmm. Jeez, these are getting tough. I think I can lose the Terminate because I have Putrefy. Yeah, we're going to eat Sarkin here. Crush is going to get big. Good luck with the download. That sounds frustrating. Can I play the mountain? There we go. So I've got enough held up for Putrefy. I'm going to swing over here. I can deal with Sarkin later. I just ate their commander. I don't want to be a bitch. So we got Dragon Mage in the graveyard over there. That could become a thing. Is this the one? Oh, it's not the one. I thought this is the one that did the Wheel of Fortune from the graveyard. This is the one that does the Wheel of Fortune when it hits someone. Very different card.
He's on the middle playing their commander. No, worm coil engine. Surprised they didn't swing the four at me. The worm coil is definitely going to keep me away for a little bit. I think I might go with the Rishkar's expertise on my turn. But we'll see where the uh, the next two turns go. Stranglehold in the graveyard. Don't have a ton of tutor in this deck. I don't know if Stranglehold would matter much to me. I mean, I can putrefy the Worm Coil Engine, but then I'd still have the Death Touch token. Well, shit. Only two things? They're discarding two cards. Three cards, okay. Well, that changes the Rishkar's expertise plan. Oh, they discarded Blood Moon. I'm totally fine now. I'm okay with losing Crash if it means Blood Moon's gone. Hey Jade, what's up? Yeah, there's, there's thankfully no clutch apply here. God, I miss those days. The two people you've seen in the chat during this game are uh, people I used to play the card game uh, Raw Deal with. Uh, we were all playtesters for the game. We played uh, pretty much just shy of the world championships for the game. Ran the second biggest events in the country uh, down in Florida. Uh, I love that game to death. I still think it's one of the most well-designed card games ever created. It was really, really sad the game did not stick around. Everyone's talking about what commander they would ban. Talking Nijila and Alaro. I think those are both fine. I just want to see Paradox Engine banned. Oh, that's awesome. Are you uh, going to be doing it online or are you doing it in person? Like, what's going on? I might be very, very interested in it. So we get Worm Coil in the graveyard, they get some tokens. In person, okay. 
I don't know if I could make it back to Florida. That, that's a very, very low chance. Sacrifice another creature. I think you're going to be the one to go this turn. I'm spending on that. Believe me, if I could make it down there, I would do it in a heartbeat. Like, I would do just about anything to play that game again. Now the question is, are you getting my buddy from up here to come down, Dre? Dre was one of the top players in the world for Raw Deal, and go figure, he and I ended up playing at the exact same shop when I moved up to New York. So, like, I brought up Raw Deal just casually, not expecting anyone to know it, and like, oh, yeah, yeah, he was the number one ranked player. Yeah, Dre's actually how we got back in touch, I think. Uh, saw you comment on one of his posts on Facebook. funny how small the world is when you really get down to it, that I can move from Florida to Oklahoma to New York, while at the same time traveling all over the country, and then all of a sudden when I settle down, I fucking meet someone that knows someone else I know. But yeah, if you can figure out a way to play like I don't know, maybe if we use, uh, geez, Skype, um, Google Hangouts, uh, some way to hook up a webcam to video a play area to, uh, to stream matches that way, um, I'd totally be down for playing remotely. Oh, you're always notorious. Come on, look at your fucking screen name, dude. You're never going to be not notorious when you carry that screen name around. God, didn't you even get that name because, like, all of a sudden you're having a kid and then you buy a t-shirt with the sugar daddy candy on it and now everyone just starts calling you daddy? Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Well, if you find a way to do it where it can be done remotely, count me in. I'm, I'm totally down. I still say Raw Deal is the best design card game ever. Dude, I swear, just our little team of four players, like, we have some of the best travel stories. Like from that to, to Lotus Flower, or Lotus Blossom. Um, oh no, 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 it's, Lo it's Lotus Flower. It's Lotus Flower, right? I have no idea what an Elgato is. Should I tell the lotus flower story on camera? Do you think uh, think people would like to hear that one? I still like the story. Oh, cool. Yeah, I can understand that. I swear, he's never on Facebook. I, I don't think I've talked to Evan in, like, at least five years. I definitely miss Evan.
It's not a bad thing. Evan's always had his shit together. He's a good guy. Yeah, I've always had a lot of respect for how well he carries himself. Ooh, what are we sending to the moon? Send triplets? Okay. I think Pretzel and Unlimited have a little bit of a feud with each other at this point. I think I'm going to drop Sidisi on my turn. I just don't know what I'm tutoring for. Okay, Sarkin is going down to one. No? What are we doing here? Sarkin is going down to zero. I'm doing a thing. Don't mind me. With this deck, you want other people to have creatures to sacrifice to help feed Crash. That's what that was about. Yay, warm tokens. Do I get to draw? Who's holding me up? Felden is holding me up. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Do I need the Hull Breach? Oof, I need to destroy two enchantments is the problem. This is an either or or both. I think I'm going to lose Eternal Witness here. Because I do need the land. So I have no idea what I'm getting. What would be best here? Birthing pod looks nice. Lord of Extinction looks really nice. Marin. to be in a position where I don't need anything specific, but I do need something. I think I'm going to go with the birthing pod, which I am one mana short of being able to play. I'm just going to throw a skull clamp on Sidisi. Should have put it on the token before I did all that. Totally forgot I had it. That's my bad. All right, thanks for stopping in in the chat. Always appreciate it. In case you're wondering, when my stream is just randomly showing someone else's stream, it's, it's his stream. Definitely one of my better buds from back in the day.
we had a team of four of us um, when we did Raw Deal. There were definitely territories in Florida. Since we had such a huge player base, people were, came from all over the state. So, like, the best players in each area would have their teams, uh, which we, we treated it all like wrestling gimmicks, and we all talked smack and everything. And it was really fun. Uh, we were a team we've been hit. Um, if you don't, if you want to get what that's a reference to, watch the special features on the old movie Kung Pao Enter the Fist. That'll give you a rough idea of where it came from. Actually, I'll give you the exact idea of where it came from. Um, but yeah, those two guys and the Evan that we were talking about and me were the four of us on team we've been hit originally. We added, like, I think two more people further down the line. Oh, this is going to be painful. Who's going to 10? Yep, had a feeling. At least this is a good dynamic game we got going. I'm a little worried about that dragon mage getting animated by Felden and causing me to discard the birthing pod. It's a risk I'm willing to take, but it's got me nervous. Oh, God damn it, that's exactly what's happening. So much for my tutor. Oof. This is going to be painful. Hey, what's up, Vincent? I'm playing your deck finally. I finally did it. Bye, birthing pod. I miss you. So yeah, Vincent, if you want the full deck list, um, it's over on my Tapped Out account. Uh, it's the most recent deck I posted. I did it right before I started the video. Was it Thraxamundar? Jesus Christ, I'm horrible. They're both junned, right? Is that why I got them crossed in my head? Oh my god. I can't believe I just did that. Well, I designed a deck for someone who didn't need that deck. That is way too funny. So for those that don't know, um, I have a condition called prosopagnosia. Uh, it's one of the things that comes with autism for a lot of people. Uh, in most cases, it's just face blindness. Um, I can't pick faces out of a crowd. I can't describe someone's features. Um, I don't have a region in my brain that codes for that. Um, oh, it's Grix. That's okay. I don't even know why I confused them then. Um, but uh, in my case, it also extends to the names of people. Uh, it happens for magic cards. Um, sometimes I even forget my wife's name. Um, just names don't stick. There's no place in my brain for them to stick. And I have to really work hard to, to get them in there. And even then, it can take me six months to a year before I'll learn a name reliably. So yeah, I'm just going to chalk it up to yet another case of my prosopagnosia doing something ridiculous. That's too much. Well, either way, we have a crush deck. 
and it's a good deck. So that means the next deck I work on is going to be Thraxamundar. I'll actually start on that one after I finish this game. That way it will get done, I promise. Oh my god, I forget to turn the microphone on. I built the deck for the wrong commander. It's just going to be one of those fucking days. Why are you returning that to their hand? Oh my god. Why would you do that? Oh, you and I both know I have too many decks to work with. It is nice always having more options, though. Oh my god, I am totally getting dinged by that Magistrar Sphinx next time it comes down. I don't have a ton to do in my hand right now. I think Crush is just going to come back out on my turn. Probably play the Stronghold for my land. Don't like Archmage Ascension though. How many counters does it need? Six or more, okay. Yep. Envelope Garden is amazing. Um, a lot of people look at the, just the discard on it, and they don't realize you're getting two cards a turn and ditching your least powerful. Um, it's really, really good for every player. Plus, you have an unlimited hand size. I mean, it's it's an amazing card. Like, don't treat it like it's a burden. Like right now, I've got an overabundance of lands. So I'm actually going to drop Woodland Cemetery here. I'm going to play the Stronghold. One, two, three, four, five, plus two, one left over. Damn, I was hoping I'd have two left over for the Greaves. I can't swing through the propaganda and ghostly prison though. I'm gonna have to find a way to deal with that. But I'm only gonna want to swing a crush anyway. Uh oh, am I getting countered? I 
Ouchies. Yeah, I can't afford to do that. Nope. I don't know if anyone's noticed, I have not given Shadow a single spirit this game. All because they attacked me first with Felden. I don't hold a grudge or anything, you know? I'm just being silly now. I'll probably give them one next. But I'd like some help dealing with the, uh, the Thassa deck and the Felden deck. They both can get kind of out of control if I don't watch them. Just a reminder, while we're in a little down spot, this deck is available on Tapped Out. Uh, you can get the full deck list up here. Why are you waiting on priority for me? I've already passed. And then don't forget all those links down at the bottom. You can find my music online. Um, Patreon is up. Uh, one of the benefits of the Patreon is I will do deck techs for you. Always a perk. You can also find my Twitter at SkySpider. I'm SkySpider pretty much everywhere. Yay, that spirit token did something. Try for crush again, but I'm probably gonna walk into a counter spell. Well, at least I'm about to get two more cards. Shieldred? I can live with Shieldred. Might throw out that Lord of Extinction though. with the Lightning Greaves. See if we can start taking some people out. I'm glad I finally got a good game on camera. See, Necropodence is good if you can capitalize on the threat. If you can't capitalize on Necro, 
you just become the person everyone else wants to get rid of. And you're already paying life for it, so you really need to be able to get something out of it. That's the problem with Necropotence. Um, it's definitely a better one-on-one -on -one card, but I've seen it used to great effect in multiplayer. Uh, you just have to have defenses in play when you drop it. Or be able to use the cards you get off of it. So this is going to be terrifying. Yeah, it's terrifying. Oh, we're just going to play out a whole hand. Oh. I may have to try and eliminate Shadow on my turn. I might not be able to eliminate Shadow on my turn. Good God. This is bad. Annihilator 4 is not a good thing. Are I about to pay for never giving them a spirit token? Or will they be smart and send it over here? You got two mana open. Use it for Ulamog. Oh, you need four. Fuck. Oh, that shit's totally coming my way. God damn it, Ulamog is totally coming my way. Fuck, I am so dead. Yep. Ouchies. So much for the plan I was thinking of. Are they just all coming my way? Yep. I've got Archfiend. I do like Archfiend. Are we just not paying for Rhystic Study now? I don't think Scroll Rack is good in Commander. I mean, I normally won't say any card is flat out never good, but Scroll Rack is one of those cards that's really approaching not very good. Targeting. Oh shit. Shit's about to go down. That is scary. Well, 
What's up, cutie pie? Nothing much. Guess what I did? What? I had two oopsies. What? I forgot to turn my microphone on until game three. Oops. And the deck tech I did for one of my followers, uh -huh. I remembered the wrong commander. Oops. And so I designed a deck for the wrong thing. Oh, she still loves me. Oh, I also forgot to pull the food out from the, the bugs. Um, we can tag team it when I finish this game. I'm really hot and tired. It might be another half hour or so. I got the dishes. You can do that. Wait, I just got two card names backwards again. Scroll Rack is good. I'm thinking of Cursed Scroll. Or Cursed Rack, or one of those cards. The one reveal a card at random and do two damage thing. No, Scroll Rack, yeah, Scroll Rack is amazing. My apologies. Jeez, my brain is just off tonight. Like, we all have days like this, but we don't all catch them on video, do we? So Archfiend's not going to do anything against those two dragons over there. Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Showing me memes with typo negative in them. For those that, that missed it earlier or just weren't paying attention, uh, Pretzel's turn over here is being controlled by Unlimited thanks to a Mind Slaver. Oh god. Oh, we have an Ulamog on Mimic Fat? That's. Oh. I missed that one. playing their time stop to end their own turn. That is hilarious. Seriously, that was really funny. I don't think I've ever seen that off of a Mind Slaver. Okay. I do want to play Mirren. Can't do anything with two mana, so I'll play that tapped. Yes, I will pay one. Always pay one for Ristic Study if it's out. Ugh, that's a pain in the ass. To pick up the Lord of Extinction. Yeah, zombies typically don't fly. That's that's a fair roll of, of magic right there. Like, you've seen how zombies walk. You don't want to see them flying around. They'd just be falling out of the sky, landing on people.
Oh God, don't be mind slaver. Come on, anything else, don't be mind slaver. Okay, we're, we're playing this kind of game now. Well, I'm totally good for that. Yeah, I've been binging a little Walking Dead lately, uh, re-watching the most recent season's uh, uh, start over and over again. So I've been I've been thinking about zombies lately, and yeah, that's that's a very funny image. I still have enough for Mind Slaver. I'm really hoping they don't hit the same player again. That'd be so rude. Hi, Zoidberg. It's really you this time. Yes. What happened to his sweater? I think I'm doing his skin a break. I'm supposed to only do that at night. That's night. He's cold. Yeah, cold yeah keep the fire going for while I'm down here. Ooh, it worked. I'm getting more fire. Everything's getting really little over here. Yep, I'm tapping. Are we going to mind slaver again? Please hit someone else. It's so incredibly rude to take someone's turn multiple times. Okay, good. They're doing a different player. I'm assuming it's hitting pretzel. Yeah. The blood feud continues. So again, if it's not obvious, Unlimited is now playing as Shadow Dracon. Totally lost because I never gave Shadow a, a spirit token. Oh boy, sneak attack with 10 cards in hand. Oh, more Eldrazi. Like, I know they're coming, but oh my god, they're coming. See if we all just die here. Oh God, I didn't even see the Atali. Jesus. See what comes up. Oh, I have to annihilate before I see it. Yep, you get them. I know.
Okay, Reliquary Tower for me. Care Keep. Ooh, big card. And an island. So one big card. Not casting it. Guess I block the Eldrazi. So pretzels out. Our cat is so chonk right now. We're in a really shitty situation with our two cats. Our older cat is having digestive problems and can't eat much of the time. And our younger cat takes advantage of the fact we have to have food available at all times for the older cat and has like doubled his weight in the past year. And we do not have a good solution to that. Oh my god, he's doing it again. So yeah, unfortunately we have to wait for our older cat to pass away before we can put the young cat on a diet. Very frustrating. On the plus side, Zoidberg has a nice layer of blubber to keep him warm in the winter. You gotta look for the bright side, right? So yeah, the hairless cat is the one that got a little chonk. If you see him down in the pictures below. Pretty sure this game is over. Just waiting to make it formal. Gonna cast some cards from my hand. That's a card you don't see very often. Why wouldn't they play the Lord of Extinction out of my hand to go for the win? Exactly. Yeah, you can play the silly song. Yeah, give that haste. Jesus Christ, 52 52. That was a fun game. 
So yay, we got Crush to play through a game. So yeah, there's the Crush deck. It's a thing. It's fun. Apparently it wasn't the deck I was supposed to be doing a deck tech on. So I will fix that and I will be back. Hopefully I can get that done by tomorrow. So Vincent, stick around tomorrow. We will almost certainly have the game we were supposed to have. Thraxamundar. I remember now. So yeah, I'll start working on that now. See everybody later.